It's the gaming keyboards to epitomize all gaming keyboards. How's it going everyone? Adam Repos Vox here and we've got a new keyboard here in at the studio. I've actually been sitting on it for a few months now, but I'm finally getting to the review of it. This is the Aula F2009 from Afunta, who I reviewed another uh, headset from a while back ago. This is a gaming keyboard and I deem it to be the epitome of gaming keyboards because of how ridiculous the stuff they've put into it is, but yet they, they, they managed to pull it off a little bit. So we ha we're presented here with this crazy design with a bunch of little hex screws built in to hold this metal plate on top of the frame on top of the frame now the frame itself is a hard plastic and they do have big old rubber grips on the bottom here but then the risers do not have any rubber grips thus partially defeating the purpose and that's always disappointing to see but this big metal frame definitely gives it a striking visual flair to it as well as makes it a lot more rugged and sturdy the problem is is those edges are pretty rough and i've actually hurt my hand on them a couple times so you want to be careful there. <laughs> we also have this all white keyboard with a ridiculous font. I hate the font on the whole. For a couple keys, it'd be kind of cool. And I was actually hoping to pop a few of these keys off and throw them on my main keyboard, just as a little bit of a different key. But most of the keys are actually quite a bit taller than your standard keycap. And so while I was able to put them on, like I wanted WASD, they stood up way higher than the rest of my keys on that keyboard. And so I wasn't able to use them. That was a little disappointing. And you also have to keep that in mind if you're wanting to put any custom keys on here. Because they do seem to be a little taller than normal. Now, the, this is a mechanical keyboard. But there's no information whatsoever as to what kind of switches are in here. So if I pop a key off here, you will see that there is a little rubber dome around the keycap as well. Which gives it a little bit of a softer hit. But the, it, it is all still extremely, extremely clicky. Very, very clicky. Very satisfying. It also has a gold-plated USB plug, which is whatever, this nice thick cable that did come with a cable management Velcro strip on it. But the head for the cable is a little, or the head of the USB port is very thick and way too over-designed. And so it may actually cause you problems fitting it in certain USB ports if you have a bunch of other pl stuff plugged in around it. So keep that in mind as well. Now, overall, the keyboard's pretty cool. It's comfortable to use. It's at a good angle with a wrist rest for me to type on. The keys are satisfying clicky and I haven't had any ghosting issues it's supposed to have complete ghosting protection, all that jazz. And it has some crazy RGB stuff going on, which is part of what makes it the epitome of gaming keyboards as well, which I'll get to in a minute. But my big problem is that the product page is grouped together with about three or four other keyboards that they sell, which to me, that kind of product grouping on Amazon is completely unacceptable because the problem is then you have this product listing, but any reviews or questions and answers that are listed below the product could apply to any of the grouped products. So there's lots of instructions on how to operate the uh, RGB configuration here, which for me, the instructions on the box were completely in Chinese, but the, all, there's lots of different people answering how to control the RGB, and none of them apply to this because they're not for this keyboard, they're for the other one. But you do have a couple different uh, keyboard modes here, which are very hard to control. For example, this one, you use the function, the FN function key here with page up and down to adjust the brightness. Uh, the arrow keys adjust the brightness. The page up and down seem to just kind of like reset the mode. The left and right adjust the frequency to prevent like flickering and things like that. And then function and one sets up different like game modes. For example, one is WASD. Two seems to be like main shooter controls because you have QWER and ASD and then G and B and shift. And then it just cycles through which keys are highlighted, which is a pretty cool thing to see and having just WSD highlighted and the arrows over here is kind of neat. But there's no specific directions on how to control it. You can't control it via software on the computer and it just has this crazy rainbow effect applied to it because it's just like, oh, gamers like RGB. Let's throw some RGB lights on there and some gamery font and this crazy gamery design with this metal engraved logo over here that says, oh, la, and sell them a keyboard. It's a pretty cool keyboard, but it's just overdone in my opinion. But I love taking a look at keyboards. I love custom keyboards. This is one that I am going to keep around because it is pretty slick. So if you want something that looks striking, looks badass, is made or has the top at least made of metal, there is no rim around the keys. 
So you are able to completely like sweep out and clean out the keys without even having to remove them really, which is really nice for keeping it clean. And just looks as badass gamery as possible to like impress your friends or whatever. This is the keyboard that you want. Like, and listen to this. Those are some freaking clicky keys. So if you want to impress your friends and be the most gamery keyboard owner of all time, go for this one. If you want some actual control over how the lights work or fonts that you can read well or a case that's not going to hurt you, then you might want to look elsewhere. But this has been my brief review here of the Alula, uh, oh, uh, the Aula F2009 from Afunta. Pretty cool little mechanical keyboard here. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, smash the like button. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. Let me know some other keyboards I should try to take a look at. I love mechanical keyboards. I love customizing them. I love looking at them. I've got a buddy, Ski with Pete, who does a lot of keyboard customization and has been, I've been watching his stuff and getting really addicted to the concept. I bought a ton of keycaps for my keyboard. <laughs> and we did a keyboard key collab recently talking about our favorite mechanical keyboards. So if you haven't seen that yet, check the link in the card in the description below. But this has been my review and overview and all that jazz product link in the description below. I'll see you in the next one. Gamer. I also want to take a moment to give a huge thanks and shout out to our recent Patreon subscribers. Without you guys, these videos would not be possible, and I thoroughly appreciate your help. Visit patreon.com slash to learn more.